This is 34 News Update with Amber Sizemore and Julie Hyman with the news. Karen Lucy with Arts and Entertainment. And Nick Bruno with Sports. And now, from Studio B in Scotch Plains Fanwood High School, Amber Sizemore and Julie Hyman. My name is Laura Manziano. I'm a senior here at Scotchland Spanwood, and my opinion on gay marriage is that it should be legalized. Because it's absolutely ridiculous that homosexuals shouldn't have the same rights as every other human being on the earth. The whole thing is like for freedom and happiness for everyone, so why not include homosexuals? Um, my name is Jessica Shank and I'm a senior and I believe that gay marriage should be legal because the government should have as small a role in our lives as possible and uh, gay marriage or the people who are typically against gay marriage tend to be very conservative and their uh, opinions are usually that the government should not control our lives and should not tell us what we can and can't do therefore they should allow gay marriage but it's just a religious thing and that has no place in the government so there you go. 50 years ago this spring will be the anniversary of the Brown versus Board of Education case, a groundbreaking legal decision that will change history forever. In this famous case, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation in public schools was unconstitutional and was no longer going to be accepted or tolerated by the American people. This long-awaited decision was a major victory in the hard struggle for civil rights around the 1950s. This decision not only benefited African Americans, but all minorities who want to learn in a non-separate and equal environment. The month of March not only celebrates the beginning of spring, but for SBFHS, also celebrates students' cultures. The month started with Italy. During this first week, the language hall was decorated in green, red, and white. Italian students participated in an Italian pride day, and most got their faces painted with Italian flags. French Week brought a contest to win croissants and an opportunity for students to learn a little bit about the French language. During Spanish Week, representatives from each country will battle it out in an international volleyball game. Also, students can watch a showcase of different types of Spanish dancing. German Week will bring a celebration of food in an international dessert bake-off. Although only four languages are taught at Spindy, Language Month celebrates all cultures. Now let's go on location to Danielle Petrucci, who caught up with a teacher to hear a little bit more about language. This is Danielle Pachuco reporting for 34 News, and I'm here on location with the Spanish teacher of Scotch Plains Fanwood High School, Ms. Fama. So, what is Language Month? A language Month is the month in which we uh, celebrate not only language, but all cultures together from the world, and especially here at the school, we are having events this month. Uh, for example, all teachers are involved in preparing something so we can get uh, all the faculty, not only language teachers, as well as the students involved in some type of activity that uh, celebrates our heritage. And not only the languages that we have here in the school, but for example, Russian and Polish, all the kids, it's it, for all the people to feel proud about their culture, their, their culture and heritage. Some girls feel like their voices are never heard. But Girl Talk, a new support group here in Scotch Plains, is making sure that they're heard loud and clear. 
Girl Talk's main focus is on hot issues going on in today's world. Some of these topics include relationships, peer pressure, anger management, and building self-esteem. This forum is facilitated by Marilyn Vitovich, a licensed social worker who provides young women with an environment designed to feel better about themselves, to share their true emotions and opinions, and on hopes to make wise decisions. To register and find out more, call the Center for Women and Families at 908-322-6007. Now let's go to Karen Lucy with Arts and Entertainment. Thanks, Amber. Howard Stern was recently kicked off the Clear Channel network of radio stations. Executive John Hogan was the leading force behind the removal of Stern and said, quote, the host let a caller make a comment that was vulgar, offensive, and insulting, not only to women and African Americans, but to anyone with a sense of common decency. Although Stern argues that he deserves the freedom of speech guaranteed by the First Amendment to the Constitution, Hogan is backed by the Radio Act of 1927 and the Supreme Court case FCC versus the Pacifica Foundation, which permits radio censorship. In the future, Stern will be more careful in filtering his caller's comments. How strong are you? Find out how you measure up to other Spiffy High students in the World's Strongest Man competition. The competition will be held here at the high school and will feature events similar to those performed in the actual World's Strongest Man competition, which airs annually on ESPN. Each student competing must raise a minimum of $25 in sponsorships. All proceeds go to families affected by Lou Gehrig's disease. Now let's go on location to find out more. This is Dan Kranz on location for 34 News, and I'm here with Jason Noriyama, Yoav Nudel, and Kyle Baker, three contestants in the Strongest Man competition. So, uh, Jason, I hear you are the creator of the Strongest Man competition. Where did you think of the idea? Uh, it's not my idea. It's from ESPN. Oh, okay. And what is the essential idea? We're going to pull a truck. We're going to throw logs. Just awkward feats of strength. All right. And when is this going to happen? The weekend after junior prom. Okay, and if you guys, if anybody else out there wants to join, how do they sign up? Either talk to me or talk to anyone in the weight room. Um, mainly Mr. Stack is pretty much going to help running it, so if you want to talk, talk to him. Okay, uh, any last words, you guys? We're going to pump you up. All right, now back to the studio. In music news, the top five songs this week are Numb by Linkin Park, Toxic by Britney Spears, My Immortal by Evanescence, with You by Jessica Simpson, and Don't Want You Back by Eamon. Now let's go to Eric with your Critics Corner. Hi, this is Eric Barnett, and this is this week's Critics Corner. This week, I reviewed Starsky and Hutch with actors Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson, which was a comedy remake on the old Starsky and Hutch, which was released about the mid-70s. The actresses movie actually got to spend time with the original actors of the first movie, when they really got a feel for their part. So that was kind of cool to show that they like were acting a bit like them in the movie. Um, even though this was a comedy remake and wasn't really too exactly the way the old movie was, I still thought it was awesome because they just put Snoop Dogg in there for no reason. But all in all, I thought this was a really funny movie and I give it two thumbs up. Well, I suggest you go see this movie this weekend. This has been Eric Barnett. I'll see you at the movies. Now let's go to Nicole and Dan with your weekend preview. Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Weekend Preview. I'm Nicole Denunzia. And I'm Dan Birnbaum. This weekend in sports, four of our varsity wrestlers are competing in the state tournament um, in Atlantic City on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Other than that, all winter sports are finished. Um, the spring sports are in their early stages, so good luck to all those teams, and I hope we do well. So, I'm Nicole. If you want to go out and see a movie this weekend, you can see The Passion of Christ, The Secret Window, Twisted, and Stark Sheet and Hutch. If you want to stay in this weekend and rent a movie, you can rent... Cold Creek Manor, Duplex, Looney Tunes Back in Action, Mona Lisa Smile, and School of Rock. That wraps it up for this week's edition of Weekend Preview. I'm Nicole Denunzia. Dan Burba. Now back to the studio. Now let's go to Nick Bruno with sports. Thanks, Julie. There's only one word that can describe the book, the Raiders wrestling team, and that word is phenomenal. The boys took their third consecutive district championship last weekend, while also winning five individual first place finishes. This week, wrestlers Steve Minio and Derek Francavilla each won regional championships, while Andrew Silver and Eric Conley also placed in the top three in their weight class, earning them a spot in the 2004 New Jersey State Tournament to be held this weekend in Atlantic City. Now let's go on location for more. This is Ignacio Lopez reporting for 34 News. I'm here with Ron Ferrara, a member of the Scotch Plains Fanwood Wrestling Team. So what's going on this weekend in wrestling? Well, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have the Wrestling State Championships down in Atlantic City. Uh, who's wrestling in that? At 125, Derek Francovilla, 130, Steve Mineo, 140, Eric Connolly, and 171, Andrew Silver. 
That's rad. Uh, do you want to add anything else? No, I guess just good luck to all the guys representing Scotch Plains, and uh, good luck, man. Good luck to you, too. Now back to the studio. While our wrestling team has proven to be phenomenal, the boys' basketball team has shown to be anything but. With sophomore all-stars Derek Hector and Lance Thomas, the team had high hopes in county and state tournaments. However, they were three players short of the team and three wins short of a sectional championship. So after the hype of what was to be a great season, the boys can only look forward to next year. That's all for sports. Now let's go back to Julie and Amber. And also, good luck to all those athletes trying out for spring sports. Now let's go to Ronnie with Car of the Week. This is Ron Farrar reporting for 34 News. I am here at this week's Car of the Week. This 99 Ford Mustang is owned by senior Lou Balassieri. It's very fast. He installed a new exhaust in the back and a new air intake under the hood right here. Well, that's it. Now back to the studio. Hi, this is I in the Sky Eliash for reporting for 34 News, and I'm here to bring you your weekend weather. On Friday, it's going to be really windy, but it's going to be a high of 45 and a low of 33. On Saturday, it's going to be partly cloudy and again windy, high of 48 and a low of 39. And on Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy, but it's going to be the best day of the weekend because there's going to be a high of 53 and a low of 36. And there's only eight more days until spring, so have a great weekend. Thanks for watching this edition of 34 News Upsy. We'll see you next week.